Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Global Coherence Pulse. This is day eight of World Unity Week and we have been pulsing the field every day with a different theme. My name is Teresa Collins and I want to start by saying thank you for taking time out of your day to be with us and to add your love to this pulsing that we've been doing. We've been building a powerful wave. So I am going to have us kind of go right in. I want to make sure you can hear my voice okay with the music that I have in the background. Great. So I was on um, the Sparkleverse last night and they had a special musical. It was the Magic Canoe. And there's been a mythology that's been running through World Unity Week. And I want to invite us to take this journey as part of our recap of our story. So I'm going to spotlight. Yes. So let's all together right now just connect into our heart, feel the bottom of our feet so that we're really here, present right now with one another. And let's all climb into the magic canoe. And the story of the magic canoe was that we needed to collect the sacred jewels together as a humanity and to bring each one of those jewels into our hearts. And that when we collected all eight jewels, that we could enter into the new world together, the one world together. So let's do that right now. Let's enter the canoe. Let's join together as one global family in this magic boat. And let's begin to collect one jewel at a time. So we start with unity. Unity in action, our embodied experience of unity. Let's collect this jewel into our heart right now. The diversity of our unity alive in action. And now let's connect together in our boat, our magic boat, and let's go and collect our next jewel, our next jewel of peace, peace embodied, peace in action. Let's really feel this presence of peace bring that jewel right into the center of your heart. And we continue together in this magic canoe and we find the next jewel, the jewel of love, love in action. We feel this power and presence of love and we bring this jewel into our individual and our collective heart. Then our boat continues to flow, all of us together in this magic, magic canoe. Find the next jewel the jewel of joy. We need love and joy together in our hearts. We bring the jewel of joy right into our sweetheart. And our boat continues, our magic canoe continues to move and we get to collect up the next jewel, the jewel of gratitude. Gratitude in action, gratitude embodied, gratitude expressed. Gratitude. 
gratitude radiated from our hearts. And with these jewels now, our boat continues and we can bring in the next jewel of compassion. It's like we need all those jewels that came before in order to really seat ourselves in compassion in action, to embrace our suffering and to let love shine through. Then we continue in our boat, our magic boat together and collect our next jewel, the jewel of hope, hope in action, fiery hope, glorious hope, the hope that makes us rise up each day and express our gifts. And now with all of these jewels in our hearts, we're in our canoe and we're moving towards our final jewel, the jewel of belonging. It's like all of the jewels all come together into this one jewel. Belonging beyond unity and diversity, beyond unity and inclusion, is unity in belonging. You're here because you belong. World Unity Week is a living celebration of belonging in action and we are here to bring this energy of belonging into our hearts and into the world. And to help us do that today, we have our mantra. Each day we've had a mantra to bring into our into our hearts and to support us in our journey. And I'm having trouble seeing our mantra today. <laughs> uh, what from here? I am an important member in the great web of life. I belong and I have a purpose. My positive energy flows through my thoughts, words, and actions. My coherence is making a difference and benefiting all of life. We thank Nikita Nagiri again for this beautiful mantra, I am mantra, and to support us to gather this last jewel. We have brought back Gary Malkin he will be doing some music for us at the end of our meditation, helping us to celebrate our collecting of this final jewel. We'll bring Gary's picture here. So we're bringing Gary back. He'll be playing live for us today. And that lastly, I'd like to introduce our guide for belonging, our beloved Jude Curvin. And I decided I wanted to bring this image of Jude, both her human self, but also her celestial self, which is a water dragon. I love this water dragon. So I'm gonna just read about Jude. Jude Curvin is a cosmologist, planetary healer, author, previously one of the most senior businesswomen in the UK and co-founder of A Whole World View. She has experienced multidimensional realities since her childhood, traveled to over 80 countries and worked with wisdom keepers of many traditions. She integrates leading edge science, consciousness research and universal wisdom teachings into a holistic worldview. She holds a PhD in archeology span from the University of Reading in the UK researching ancient cosmologies and a master's degree in physics from Oscar, Oxford University specializing in cosmology and quantum physics. International author of six nonfiction books, her latest is a Silver Nautilus award-winning The Cosmic Hologram. 
in formation at the center of creation and she has a new book coming Gaia her story which is due out in spring of 2022 she's a member of the evolutionary leader circle and in 2017 co-founded the whole world view to empower the understanding experiencing and embodiment of unity awareness and these eight jewels came to her and really seeded as the current for our coherence throughout World Unity Week. Dude, I can't imagine a more uh, appropriate guide to take us with this final jewel in our magic canoe to bring us home into the new world, our one world. Thank you, Teresa. And I just love this story of our canoe. The, the, the kahunas of Hawaii that I've worked with say, all we have to do is sit upright in our canoe. <laughs> we don't need to lean forward. We don't need to lean backwards. We just need to sit upright together in our canoe and we will find our way. And so I'm, I'm delighted to be here and, and welcome everyone. Um, wow, what an amazing eight days World Unity Week has been. But it's interesting, isn't it? Because when Ben Bowler came to me last year and said, I want to do, can we do something about World Unity Week? I assumed it was going to be seven days, but it's eight days and it's just so perfect that it is. So we're, these eight themes are jewels and we can also have a sense of them being notes, an octave of eight notes and where we all come together um, to sing the song of unity in action and to pulse these themes into the coherence field and beyond. Um, I'm going to speak a little bit before we go into our meditation, because when we speak about coming together in our hearts and our heart-based um, intention and action, my sense is that as we do so, we actually transcend our personal hearts. And from the seven chakras of the me, we enter through a threshold of an eighth chakra of the universal heart into the we space and the all space. And 20 or more years ago, as I was journeying with guidance around Gaia to help activate her planetary grid, for a shift of consciousness, this perception of us now expanding our awareness beyond the seven chakras into an eighth and beyond energy consciousness field that would ultimately help us remember the wholeness of who we really are and the wholeness and the unity of the entire cosmos. So this is a journey we're still on together but how wonderful it is that in these eight days of World Unity Week, we can invite us to join together, to link up and lift up in the universal heart of the eighth chakra. And for many people for whom this is opening, we tend to sort of sense it midway between our heart chakra and our throat chakra. So some folks are calling it the higher heart or the one heart. I was given the universal heart many, many years ago, but I invite us in our meditation today to come into this space of unconditional love and also a ninth chakra so that when we ground our intention in this expanded sense of awareness, of unity awareness, we, instead of um, grounding through our root chakra, there is a ninth chakra, about a hand's breadth between and beneath our feet, that many geomancers who are working with this perception to help heal the traumas that we've imposed on our beloved Mother Gaia, to connect through the this ninth chakra, the earth star chakra, to the heart, her heart of Gaia. So as we go into our meditation today, I'm going to invite us to be together in the universal heart 
and to ground our intention of unity in belonging in action through the earth star with the heart of Gaia. So I'm going to turn into the peace candle. <laughs> this is a vision um, that we took when we were at the demilitarized zone between South and North Korea a couple of years ago. So it was very much this sense of unity and coming together where peace then is the natural outcome. So, on this eighth day of World Unity Week, I invite you and us all into the eighth chakra of the universal heart to intend and to ground our global pulse down through the ninth chakra, between and beneath our feet, and into the heart of Gaia. Our pulse today is unity in belonging, in action. So I invite you to relax, to close your eyes or soften your gaze, and focus your attention on your breathing. And as you breathe out, feel that you're releasing anything in your life that no longer serves you. And then as you breathe in, sense a renewal that flows through you, gently energizing and refreshing you. And continue to focus on the cycles of your breath, feeling yourself becoming more and more relaxed, more and more gently at peace. And when you feel relaxed and balanced, I invite you to imagine that you're now breathing in a thread of light that flows deep within the universal heart of the eighth chakra, midway between your heart and your throat. And as the light flows within the universal heart, sense a tiny sphere of light beginning to form there and then to grow and to brighten with each breath as it becomes the size that you feel is perfect for you at this time. Now sense that as you breathe within the sphere of light and into the universal heart, this portal, the energetic bridge to your higher self, and all that is gently opens like a beautiful flower in the light of the sun. As you continue to breathe into the universal heart, now send your awareness downwards through your body and through the earth star, the ninth chakra beneath and between your feet, about a hand's breadth beneath your feet, and on down into the beloved and sacred ground of Gaia. Continue to send your awareness down deep and still deeper until you sensed that you've reached her heart. As you reach Gaia's heart, feel a pulse of her life-giving love returning up and through the ninth chakra beneath your feet, up through your body and the universal heart and on and up to the highest realms of spirit. And then a returning pulse of unconditional love from the highest realms of oneness back down into your universal heart. Now gently pulse this unconditional love through you, connecting you with the unity of the cosmos and all that you are through the universal heart. And as each pulse of unconditional love flows through you, feel that all boundaries and barriers are gently dissolving as you feel more and more at oneness with the unity of the whole world. And now I invite you to gently center your awareness in the universal heart. And our pulse today 
will comprise three waves. Our first wave is unity in diversity. And for our first wave, I invite you as you breathe gently in the universal heart to sense for a few minutes perhaps, to sense, to envision, to feel a time when you experienced unity in diversity, a place, a gathering, a forest, and what it means to you. And as you experience its presence, to then pulse your feelings of appreciation into the coherence field. I'm going to invite us to remain silent for three minutes as we feel deeply into this sense of unity in diversity and then radiate our appreciation of it into the field of coherence we're co-creating together. Just in this gentle silence, feel your appreciation for unity in diversity. And for our second wave, I invite you as you breathe gently in the universal heart to sense envision, feel a time when you experienced beyond unity and diversity, unity in inclusion, a welcoming of yourself and others, and what that means for you. And as you experience the presence of unity in inclusion, again, pulse your feelings of joy and appreciation, of love, of hope perhaps, into the coherence field we're co-creating together. And again, perhaps just with a couple more moments, a couple more minutes, of silence to feel that sense of unity and its power of unity in inclusion. And for our third and final wave, I invite you as you breathe gently in the universal heart to sense, to envision and to feel unity in belonging. That beyond transcending unity in diversity and unity inclusion, a deep knowing that you belong here and now a belonging to and with our entire human family, a belonging to and with Gaia and all her children, and a belonging to and with the whole world. And as you experience unity in belonging, ask for what it's be beingness in you inspires and empowers you to express in action. 
then let us pulse our communion of intention and unity in belonging with love, joy, and gratitude in the universal heart and into the coherence field we are co-creating together. I'm going to invite us to do this for two more minutes and then I'd like to complete with some words of Irish visionary and mystic John O'Donoghue. Thank you. And these are John O'Donoghue's words, a blessing for belonging. May you listen to your longing to be free. May the frames of your belonging be generous enough for your dreams. May you arise each day with a voice of blessing, whispering, in your heart. May you find a harmony between your soul and your life. May the sanctuary of your soul never become haunted. May you know the eternal longing that lives at the heart of time. May there be kindness in your gaze when you look within. May you never place walls between the light and yourself. May you allow, may you allow the wild beauty of the invisible world to gather you, mind you and embrace you in belonging. Thank you, everyone. And I'd like to pass on to my dear friends, Teresa and Gary. Thank you, Jude. Let's take this feeling of belonging and let's let Gary continue to carry us with his music deeper and deeper into this place of belonging inside of ourselves and with each other. Jude, thank you so much, so beautiful. Gary. Wow. And together we will stand at the edge of time on the threshold of a land 
This is our ancient home The one we've always known At the calling of this love We come For time and breath inside every grief and death, inside every life and death, <laughs> inside each face, inside every grief and grace. There is a timeless call alive inside it all At the calling of this love we come I carry the ancestors in my breath with their wisdom and their wounds I follow the children beyond my death death <laughs> oh, this will be their planet soon say that again this will be their planet soon between grace and ash where the future meets the past between wing and flight beyond thoughts of wrong and right there is an ancient home inside the great unknown. Sing this to yourself. At the calling of this love, we come. At the calling of this love, threshold of a land this is our ancient home the one we've always known at the calling of this love we come so I belong this is the phrase that came to me perfect way to end this song. I belong to earth. I belong to life. I belong to you. I belong to me. I belong to earth. I belong to life. I belong to you. I belong to me. I belong to earth. I belong to life. I belong to you. I belong to I belong to life, I belong to earth, I belong, I belong to you, I belong to me, 
At the calling of this love we come Where the heart has learned to feel Bringing all we need to heal At the calling of this love We ever evolving, constantly growing, coming from this level of integration. It is such an honor to be here with you all. World unity forever. Oh. oh, Gary, I love that we just felt your sweetheart so deeply. Oh, thank you so much for letting letting us feel you and your love and this kind of touching feeling of our belonging. Like we've been feeling it all week with World Unity Week that we really, we really belong here together. And we really do. We really do. Yeah, I mean, even, you know, I was making mistakes. I forgot the chords. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know what I was doing, but the call was in process. We're all in process. We're not perfect, right, or done. And this is the mission of my life. <laughs> to join with you and others who understand that the love of power is no longer relevant anymore and the power of love is all we are. Yeah. Jude, thank you for bringing me to a place where I just stripped off even any of the edifices of performing and just allowed myself to just experience what the words were for a song I've sung hundreds of times, but I never heard like I heard today. I just thank you for bringing me to that state. Mm. To you. And you know, it just, it rehearts me that when we know we belong, we can just let go of everything. We can just be <laughs> who we, we are, you know, because <laughs> we belong. <laughs> it's, you know, well, I had one thing about a year ago when I had the realization that I belonged to me was the, the most extraordinary aha because I hadn't been including myself. Mm, and and yes. suddenly I realized that I could be the loving inner father and mother and steward of this being, and I belong to me. And yes. it was a revelation, you know. And suddenly everything started to make sense. With that, that it's very hard to. It's very hard. Mm, I agree. Yeah. And, and this felt really appropriate for this World Unity Week because mm -hmm. we've been talking about unity and diversity, and a couple of months ago, I just felt we. We need to go beyond unity and diversity mm -hmm. because that's lovely. Mm -hmm. We need to go beyond unity and inclusion. That's lovely too, but there's a sense of being need, being invited in. When we belong, <laughs> there's no need for an invitation. We just well, show up because that's, that's where we are. That's who we are. That's how we are together. And, you know, you're talking about a state where oxytocin is, isn't an event. It's a moment by moment every 24 seconds. We live in oxytocin. You know, that experience was what you're talking about is being at the breast, held, seen, contained, the attachment bond, right? That experience of belonging is <laughs> it's all oxytocin. You know, it's all that, that drenching in that connection. So would it be amazing if we could actually, well, like we feel what we're feeling now. Yeah, we can. We can. Wow. This is what our on this for me and I know Teresa too. This is our linking up and lifting up, not just however wonderful for World Unity Week, but every day. Mm. This is our onward journey. Wow. This is our opportunity. This is our hope. This is our choice. This is just so wonderful oh. that we're here together and ever more together. <laughs> Because this feels like a journey of homecoming. Well, if Barbara Marks Hubbard called career uh, evolution to vocational orgasm, 
I don't think this is a certain kind of orgasm, actually, <laughs> but I don't think it's vocational. <laughs> vocational arousal is what she would. Oh, that's right, man. Vocational say. arousal, right? And, Sorry. And premature synergy. If, <laughs> if you got ahead of yourself and you weren't in the current of your purpose, but you were trying to get ahead to do something in front of the universe's beautiful unfolding holding our hand all the way <laughs> so what would you call this if it's not vocational arousal it's uh, quantum arousal <laughs> it's gary here's her word it's supra sex okay <laughs> barbara we love you and we're so grateful love you, for barbara. you barbara i was so glad you're with us oh. and one of the the things that's really filled my heart is is everyone sort of contributing and sharing and 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 you know I can feel everyone not just through the chat but but in so many ways and I'm just so delighted that now is the first moment of the journey ongoing yeah ongoing yes. you know what's what's also interesting Teresa I mean what I've been learning from the work that I've done for the last 20 years, when Graceful Passages came out 20 years ago, I discovered the word tenderness, mm. tender. To be able to share the non-newsy way of being, vulnerable, it's, it has a tenderness. And I think that is the, the plasma that creates, for me, this sense of belonging, when there's tenderness somewhere even if it's not expressed and that's what i'm feeling right now yeah come on since this is the last time and add my thanks to everyone for joining us jude uh you're such a mystic it's easy to forget that you have advanced degrees in physics and archaeology and in that way you're really the embodiment of the reconciliation of science and spirit which is also the work that the global coherence pulse is doing thank you so much for opening and closing the pulse during World Unity Week and for being such a good friend and close ally. Before I thank Gary, I, I just wanted to thank Michael Lindfeld for yesterday saying that the heart receives, registers, and radiates. <laughs> right? This is what we're about. The heart receives. Scientific evidence demonstrates that the heart's transpersonal and our vibes are affected by the heart vibes of others. The heart registers or perceives, re-perceives. That's our superpower. The heart has this intrinsic bundle of neurons. Our hearts can learn, sense, feel, and remember independently of the brain. And the heart radiates, again, because of the transpersonal nature. So remembering that whatever our hearts are experience, experiencing gets broadcast to others <laughs> into our shared fields. Mm -hmm. At the end of World Unity Week, we're going to keep asking what are we feeding the field in each moment? What are we pulsing the planet with? Mm -hmm. So I want to thank all of our pulse leaders. Thank you, Gary. Oh my God. It's so good to be back with you and you are just so transformative always. Thank you, Nikita, and to all our hardest. Thank you, Teresa. This is really, I just had to come on and say thank you, Teresa, for carrying the pulse every single day, not just during World Unity Week, every single day. Oh. And thank you to Ian and Kaylin and everyone behind the scenes for making such a beautiful, seamless production. And then thank you, all of you, for joining us. Mm. I bless That's all you, I wanted Claudia. to say. Thanks so always much for the opportunity. An honor. Thank, thank you, Claudia. Thank bless you. you, sweetheart, for always being such an incredible, wise, loving guide and companion for us all mm. on this wonderful journey together. So and, thank you. And and a serious anchor of this work as Absolutely. it goes out now far and Absolutely. wide. We were, we were just talking about you the other day, Claudia, um, about how, you know, your, your person is so sweet and beautiful and soft. And then you're so intelligent and you bring in such like, like the real groundedness and like the combination of those two things allows us to really receive it so much deeper. It really is true. So <laughs> blessing to you, the co-founder of the Global Coherence Pulse and the, you know, Global Coherence Initiative. Did you see Roger Nelson was on? Yeah, I saw hey, Roger. 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 I, I want to say something. May I say something about Roger? So Roger and I meet every other week with the rest of the Global Consciousness Project 2.0 team. 
That is a team of amazing engineers, the best of HeartMath, the best of the Institute of Noetic Sciences, um, including other engineers around the world that join us every other week to say, how do we measure this invisible field and show for once for sure that the fields respond to human energy? Mm. Brilliant. Absolutely. Thanks for being here, Roger. Thank you, Roger. It helps us to see it. We need to see it in order to really, really get how deeply impactful our energies and, are. And what I'll say, one of the reasons why I'm such a big advocate of sometimes music under words that need to be heard over and over is that you need to feel it over mm -hmm. and over. And that's one of the great languages of emotion and that subliminal role for that and for us not to forget about that because we often think it goes as, brings us to woo-woo and what it is is wow, wow, not woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> I never said that before, but it's really something we're very <laughs> fixated on seeing and it's feeling. So I just wanted to say that. Oh, that's a key for Gary. Speaking that's to the good. converted. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Nice. Well, let's just, um, Gary, uh, closing words from you, and we'll bring Claudia back on and Jude and. We'll just say our closing words. We'll we'll end the live stream and then we'll have a little time for breakout groups. My um, journey to belong. You can hear me. Yes. Yeah. My journey to belonging has been central to the permission I'm giving myself to be who you're looking at right now, mm -hmm. and um, the level at which I haven't felt like I belong to me or life, love, or, or it really has been a deep loneliness that I had to experience in order to recognize when I belong to me, I belong to life. When I belong to life, I belong to love. When I belong to love, I belong to the earth and God and, and the cycle completes. And I don't think I felt, felt courageous enough to just get away from the entertainment and move into the entertainment until this belonging has entered my heart as a self-nurturing mother and father inside of me that I'm cultivating. So that's the most transparent, but the most direct way to acknowledge that belonging is the path mm. to wholeness. And thank you, the way you put it, Jude, was just phenomenal. And I'm so honored to be with this amazing collection of goddess, goddess energy. <laughs> what, a, what a privilege. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's been beautiful to watch you in that unfolding to your inner belonging, Gary. It's been quite an honor. Mm. Jude, how about you? Some closing words from you. Beginning and ending our eight days of pulses with your beautiful presence. Thank you so much. Thank you, Teresa. And, and Gary, that was beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. It's been my joy. It's been my, my privilege. And what comes to me is something that our dear Michael says, you know, when we feel we belong, we transcend, it's wonderful, we're authentically, integrally human, and we're authentically and integrally divine, and we're authentically and integrally Gaians. We're all Gaians. <laughs> and it seems to me that healing our relationship with our beloved Mother Gaia at this time is perhaps the deepest healing we can offer wow. because this is how we can go forward together. So thank and bless everyone. And I'm just wholeheartedly delighted. And just to say, Gary, heartists, this, for me, the integration is a, is a three-way confluence. It's science, it's spirituality, and it's heartistry mm. of all sorts. Mm. We need that so much. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, let's, as we close up the live stream, let's um, pulse the field. Let's all just draw all of these jewels that we've been collecting over these eight days into our hearts and let's really bless each other. It's growing community of like hearted souls who are saying, yes, 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 I'm choosing love, choosing love. And into the World Unity Week team, John and Ben and Betsy and all of the people who have been just pouring their love into it, Ian and Kaylin. Rhiannon. 
Becky. Rhiannon, oh my gosh, Rhiannon. And Marie. Marie, yeah. The whole team. Everyone. Yeah. Julie Crow, Anita. Julie. Mm. So many people. And let's feel our pulse, like just circling the planet. It's been going for days and it's going to continue as we each take moments throughout our day to pulse the field. And lastly, let's take this energy and put it into every molecule of our being, this belonging that we bring it right in every cell in our body feeling this belonging. Mm. Blessings, blessings, everyone. Have a beautiful day. And if you want to stay for breakout groups, we'll do that. Bye, everyone.